Hi, I'm Dr. Ann GYN and I have a clinic in Portland, Oregon and I'm going to talk about labiaplasties. Um, I have another YouTube that talks about it a little bit but I'm going to call this labiaplasty revisited. Um, we are a very busy practice in doing these procedures and in listening to women and talking to women about why they have the labia trimmed. Um, there are a lot of different motivations and different ages and different types of women that want these procedures and I want to reinforce that I think there are times it's very appropriate that it be done. I want to uh, remind you that a labiaplasty is a procedure where the small lips are trimmed and are shorter than what a woman is born with. The labia minora or the inner lips are an extension of the clitoris and the frenulum and extend down to the area just above the rectum called the perineum. Most women, like I spoke in my other YouTube, don't want the labia minora to extend far beyond the labia majora or the big lips. What bothers women the most is something I call labial trapping. Uh, it's a term that I've coined because women describe the labia getting in the way when they do sports. When they wear bathing suits, they don't like to have a bump um, under their tight-fitting suit to feel like they have extra tissue there. They feel like uh, they have a scrotum sometimes if the labia are too big. They feel self-conscious. The labia get trapped when they put a tampon in and they have to sort of pull them out of the way to put in a tampon or during intercourse they feel like they have to open the curtains to sort of let somebody come in because they get in the way. It also affects what I call their sex esteem which is their ability to feel confident with their body when they don't have clothes on. So women are more self-conscious, want the light out, don't want someone looking or getting too, too close and personal because they're self-conscious about the length of those lips. Some young girls, I've had uh, girls as young as 15 come in after they go through puberty and they're athletes and the tissue gets in the way. I've had someone in karate and, and baseball, they just feel like there's too much skin and it's hard to feel clean and it hurts. Um, I've also had women who, after having babies, have had rips or tears in the labia and they didn't heal properly so they feel that they look funny. So there's a wide variety of people that come in for different reasons and want something done. It isn't about a cookie cutter approach to making women all look the same. It's about meeting the needs of the particular woman so that she's comfortable with her body and she feels comfortable with or without clothes on. And that's what our goals are here at my clinic. The labiaplasty is, after the consultation, it's a day procedure. It takes um, about a two to three hour stay in the surgery center. We do it with a laser under general anesthesia. I do recommend that you have at least a week out of your life for recoveries because swelling is the enemy when you're healing and you want these, these uh, what I call little flower petals to heal without swelling. It's very fine suture and it's very delicate work and it needs to heal well to look right. Um, so it needs to be given great care in the recovery period. We have excellent results. We do before and after pictures and I'd be happy to share my work with you. Um, I hope you give us a call.